over eons for the first Australians and to this day for children of the new millennium, our coastline has shaped our lives and captured our imaginations. G'day, Keith Conlon. A winter postcard today from Henley Beach as we take up the invitation of the Marine Discovery Centre just up the rise to open a gateway into South Australia's cool waters. First we're headed onto the beach and I'm glad it's only for a metaphorical dive into our local waters on a wintry day like this. But if you're serious about marine discovery, then of course this makes a great classroom. And the teaching gear and the comforts are close by. Just one block back from the sandy shores at Henley Beach is the poetically named Star of the Sea School, part of the Catholic education system. Back in 1998, it decided to offer its 430 students a chance to get to know their coastal environment a lot better. So they bought this house on the edge of the playground. By looking up at our photographs with the names underneath, so we've got a porcupine fish. They invited all primary school students and what us, the public, to share in their sure marine discovery centre. As we'll find out today, there's a whale of a tale to be told here. Golf St Vincent is a natural, very attractive part of life for the million or so of us who live close to its waters. Within a stone's throw of the beach at Henley, the Star of the Sea Marine Discovery Centre offers an undersea window into its myriad life in our local temperate sea. Well, Keith, I think Paul's being a bit shy at the moment. <laughs> Tim Hoyle and his aquarium officer, Ursula Quackweatherly, just exude the caring that gives us all, regardless of age, that real appreciation of what we've got here. How are the seahorses going? Well, Keith, we've put in a taller tank so the female's got room to go up and down to perform her mating dance and then hand over the eggs to the male. Looks great, doesn't it? Tiffany from Hendon Primary's turned marine scientist for us. She's taking the tiny detail of a spiny sea star and turning it into a big screen show. It's really all brain tucker for understanding the web, the food chain. In fact, Radovan on another screen here is tracing that connection between the microbial and the mammoth. Next time these students go whale watching, they will much better understand that they're seeing just one part of a delicate and fragile web of life off our coast. What, did you, what do you reckon you've got? A spongy thing. Yeah, it is. Now, what do they say? Location, location, location. And when it comes to the Star of the Sea Marine Discovery Centre, they're just a hop, skip and a jump into a tidal pool from their Henley Beach address. And when you come on the beach, regardless of age, we all get to be beachcombing detectives. That's what we are, aren't we? And it means that by finding stuff, by looking here, we get a sense of just how rich our marine life is. But you've got to cast out a very keen eye. Uh, I found this crab, um, and it's a male because it's got that thing there, little flap thing. We all did well on our search items. This is an 11-armed sea star, but it's lost one along the way. And a tiny blue sea star, a beautiful pretty lady or pheasant snail shell, and a cuddle bone. Volunteer Barry is pointing out that the bite marks show that it was actually a shark snack. Remarkable creatures. They're cuddle, not a fish at all. Those arms show it's related to the octopus and squid, and they have three hearts. And their courting show brings international divers to South Australian waters. Only the hardy and the captivated come to Henley Beach on a day like this when the meeting of the sea and the shore is quite so boisterous. But just up the road, the Star of the Sea Marine Discovery Centre sees this as an all year round classroom and a gateway into our rich biodiversity under the surface. In fact, in the centre with these aquariums, you get a sense of how rich it is, better even than the barrier reef. In here somewhere, oh, here we go. Meet Mrs. Smiley, better known as a porcupine fish. And part of her swimming apparatus is this swim bladder or air bladder. And in another tank, an octopus. And the stones on the top, well, they're there to stop it from actually squeezing out through under the lid and hopping across the floor and up into here for a takeaway. 
we're lucky to be sitting in on a very exciting moment at the centre for the students and for the staffers, Tim and Ursula, because they've been seeing this Port Jackson shark living in an artificial egg case for about three months. That's what a real one looks like. All of the goodies inside, the egg sack, is all used up, so it's time to go. So let's do it. It's a bit reluctant. Off you go, go on, off you go. And out goes the shark into the aquarium. Hey, he's going to think about swimming in a minute. Now, how long will it live? Maybe 20 or 30 years. How big will it grow? Well, there's one next door that's about two years old. And this one, well, in the wild, it could grow to maybe one and a half metres. Now, with the incredibly beautiful and exotic leafy sea dragon named as our state marine emblem, the Marine Discovery Centre is spreading its tentacles, so to speak. Its new curriculum packs on this fragile friend are going to every primary school in South Australia. And for primary schools like the Hendon students today, it's booked a long way ahead. And we can all come every Friday when there's an open session, but be sure to book. The details are on the web. And when you do, be prepared for a revelation out here and at the Star of the Sea Marine Discovery Centre. Share. 